Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars Silva Edition. This uh, series here is going to be based all around the mods from Silva Modding. As I said, I'll probably say a couple times in the very beginning of this and ra randomly throughout. Always check the description for details around the mods that we're using. Um, the first video has um, a very quick brief walkthrough of each one of the mods and what we have involved in each. But I'm looking forward to in uh, interacting with these uh, different uh, different components, different elements, different buildings, uh, different challenges that come in with this series here. So uh, there we go. Kind of give you a little bit of an idea of the landscape that we have going on. Uh, we started out up here. There's a lot of uh, research and uh, water. There's some rare metals over here. Uh, concrete that we're already tapping into. Uh, a lot of stuff down here as well. Wanted to see what it's going to take for us to get down to the lower section here. And we also have to be careful because there, the temperature here is very low. So it'd be one of those that we need to be very uh, aware of that we are keep our colonists happy as we get them here on the red planet. So here's the initial uh, setup. I kept the, the colony very linear overall. So it's, everything's pretty much in a giant straight line here, uh, but it gives us uh, water production. Uh, so we've got excess here. We're actually uh, producing a whole lot. Our water tower is getting filled up as well. We have oxygen being produced, moisture evaporator as well. And plenty of power. We're right now positive 14 in power. Uh, don't have any batteries up quite yet. But first thing I want to do in this episode here, I want to get our Explorer in. So I want to get these guys going uh, to... I was tempted to do two of them. That way we could... Because there's a lot of research on this thing. Um, oh, man. We have, the, we have the funds for it. Uh, I might leave it at that for right now. I don't know if I want to jump too far into things quite yet or do I want to go as far as going like this out of the gate so we have them for when we're ready to build our dome oof, 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 oof. it is tempting it is very tempting you know what let's have them on hand actually we shouldn't do that hang on let me go back um yeah we're gonna go back I'm not gonna do this quite yet because if I remember right, because someone was probably going to scream at me while I was doing that, is we're in the middle. We already have it. I can already do the polymer factory on our own. Fuel refinery also on our own, which we already have one anyway. Subsurface heating we have going already. Uh, we need wow, we need more research like severely. Uh, good gravy. Ooh, RC transport. Faster. Ooh, maximum range is increased. That'll work. Oh, yes. We've got to be able to clear things. I definitely want that. Oh, the farms. Yes, please. We're going to need that for food here very shortly. Uh, rovers and drones move faster. Go with that. And water reclamation. I like all of these. Okay. In the very first episode, we did also um, splurge on some uh, <laughs> outsourcing. So make sure we got that, at least some of the, this initial research taken care of really, really quickly. And we're going to continue to jump in here. But we need to get this research done, so I'm glad I looked at it. I don't want to pick up a fuel refinery or a polymer factory. So let's go get that rocket rolling again. I'm glad I didn't accidentally purchase something that I didn't need. Yep. So we'll do this one. And this one, machine, fact, uh, machine parts and electronics factory. Get those two back let's get our Explorer going Man, look at that we just saved half a million dollars already that is just beautiful grab some more machine parts while we're here I know we have the factory coming but we don't have a dome yet so we're gonna grab some more it's back up to 15 because we need that for maintenance as well Ooh. I want to take on some orbital probes and get some more scanning done Let's do it. Oh man, let's do like 10 of them. There we go. It's probably excessive, but we can clear a whole bunch. The scanning doesn't cost us anything. Let's do four. I, I want to compromise. We'll go halfway five. Done. Great. Okay, so we got drones. We have medium workload on the drones. I'm not too worried about that right now. So let's go with that. Rocket two, uh, just for the sake of this one. Silva, thank you. Again, for all the mods, we are going to get your rocket going. 
There we be. Launch it. Excellent. So let's get things rocking and rolling again. Uh, he is maxed out with metals. He can unload there. Q. OG turbines are done. Good. It's going to keep working on the next one. Uh, where can I move you to make things more productive? Can I go here? There we go. That'll let them start to collect more over here. Even though this drone hub here has plenty of space. Oh, wait, where are you? There he is. That, that, that guy, got it. Ah, make you work there. Good. Before I send this guy back on his way, and he has uh, a drone assigned to him. That's not what I want. I want you to stay here with me. Okay, we're going to get this other rocket. It is 36, 37% of the way here. Loving it. Did we complete any of these yet? Uh, oh, we did. Let's go. Oh, boy. What is this thing? Oh, it's so loud. Oh, no. A dust storm will hit. Uh, it can cause damage to pipes and cables. It causes a serious strain on all buildings, pushing them towards needing maintenance sooner than usual. Stocking up on power, water, and oxygen, and ba ooh, batteries and tanks. Okay. Oh, solar panels out. Yeah, we did that in the last series too. I'll definitely do that um, as well. Get the solar panels inside of a dome. Moisture vaporators, moxies. Okay. So we have, um, the only saving grace that we have now is we have no pull on oxygen. So we're okay there if that shuts down. Water, this is going to continue to function, which um, supports the entire colony, even though this will shut down. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to be fine, actually. I'm not super worried at this point. Okay, I th I really think we're going to be okay. For this. Oof. Oh, actually, we got to close this guy up. Yep, these two shut down. Okay, one and a half souls... Ooh, can we get a good view? Oh, wow. Ooh. Look at that. Oh. Sector scanned. Ooh. Oh, boy. Just looking at all these light, ooh, these lightning storms. <laughs> okay, 23 hours left. Oh wow, look at down here. See nothing down here. Oh, that's just crazy. Wow, all of these low-lying areas are just crushed. Man, maybe it was good that we started our. Uh, base up here Whew. okay well let's uh slide this out we've got a couple of orbital probes I want to take care of here uh, we're gonna go Sector this scan. one this Another one oh, ho, 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 ho. bunch there oh bunch more there we got two more let's use them down here let's go take care of three and let's take care of Four. Okay. Uh, a lot of metals. We have a ton of metals. We got a lot to research too. But definitely looking forward to. Oh, our rocket. Oh, it can't land during dust storms. Good point. I th knew that actually, but get some more scanning done up here. Oh, that'll actually almost complete most of the usable space up here. We have like two more spots, and then we'll get down here and just really hammer away. Absolutely love it. Okay. So we're surviving our first dust storm. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Hopefully, because there's no colonists that we could survive. That'd be... Oh. Okay. 
Nice paragraph. Ah, so because of the dust storm and we closed it, we actually uh, saved it from being hurt through the storm. Okay. Oh, right there. Wow. Okay, are we about? Oh, come on, one more hour. Well, it's an electrostatic dust storm. I should realize that with all the electricity that was going. Whew, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we survived our first uh, electrostatic dust known. storm. Oh, look at that, perfect timing. Everything's gonna have to get repaired, so I'm not surprised at that. Oh, this guy's almost ready to go. Look at that. He'll be ready to go when Hey, there you are. Come research this, please. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Good, good. We've got research going. We got tons to research too. We're gonna have to get uh, a tunnel built to get down here for research. I'm thinking right in this area. And since it's actually outside of the dome area, let's place this down so we can plan it out. Now, while we have, uh, well. Obviously, we have time. It's not like we have anything else uh, too far. I know it's too far. I go here and down to there. I like it. Anomaly analyzed. Research complete. Yes. Achieved. Oh, look at that! We're achieving milestones. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Mm -hmm. So long as you know where to look. Yeah, that always helps if we know where to look. Uh, let's see. Even the tiniest simple looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries uh, which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a simple discovery to assure us the vastness of the universe and encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future. Ooh, Drone Swarm and Logi Fungi. Ha oh, ha, oh. let's go open up the research screen. Uh, let's see. Oh, probes are cheaper, okay. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional, ooh, okay. Maximum numbers increased by 80, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. Um, we're gonna need apartments, I do, definitely do like that. Do we have, like, research way out here? No, this is all over here. Oh, low G fungi. Never mind. Right there. It's gonna help with food, actually. We are gonna need engineers and geologists a lot. It can definitely be helpful. But in the meantime, let's get increased cargo capacity. Okay. Ooh. Our, guy, our first guy is ready to rock and roll. Well, thank you so much, Rocket One. <laughs> you are clear to return home. Milestone achieved. Love it. What we're gonna do now, um, for the time being, let's put a landing pad right there. That's just gonna keep the dust and how any damage that could possibly be done, uh, minimal, uh, down to a minimum. Uh, we already have fuel going in this one, which is fantastic. Okay. So, now let's plan out where do we want that first dome to go. We've got some underground metals here, metal extractor. Ooh, we also have uh, our rare metals Sector over here. Scan. There's not a lot, though. There's only 436, which we can go through pretty quickly. Can't wait till we actually research that thing where this guy will scan automatically on his own. We'll just go place to place to place and research everything. This is going to unlock more technology. This will unlock more tech. This will give us research. So definitely looking forward to all of that. That's going to be super nice. Super nice. Uh, don't we have another one down here? Yeah, right there. More research. Oh, we even got stuff up here too. Love it. Okay. Very nice, very nice. I'm enjoying this. This looks good. Okay. Um 
How much do we have here? 707, not a lot either. Anomaly analyzed. Ooh, what do we have up here? 600. Ooh, new tech. Let's go take There's a gander. More to the barren environs of the red yeah, 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 we know. Oh, advanced Martian engines and sterling generators. So there's a sterling generator. Oh, rockets and shuttles require less fuel. Oh, that's going to be really helpful because we have we're going to have a number of rockets coming in. So, hmm. Yeah, as once we clear one of these off, we will throw that in the mix. Let that get researched up. Um. You know what? I actually want to move our... I want to put our first dome over this way. I want to get us closer to where this tunnel is going to be to get it uh, down into this area, allow for expansion. Uh, this will also allow us to branch this way, up and this way. Make sure we have things taken care of from uh, an expansion standpoint. So we're going to put our first dome, I think, right over here. Oh, it's a good old basic dome. Very cool. We're going to keep it relatively close. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get the water connection nearby. You know what? Can we just do that? Of course we can. Um, oh, I forgot to check. How much power is required for that? 15 power, and we have four left. So, oh, that's because we need to go... Whoop. There we go. I think it's still low on power technically. Uh, we only have 14 and it's going to need 15. We can do the. Oh, I should have done the control. I've done it that way. There we go. We got the polymer upgrades for that. That's going to be really nice. Another milestone achieved. Let's see where we're at with our milestones. Oh, we haven't completed any of these yet. Okay. Well, that's fine. 115%. This is going to be fun. Single. Oh, and a single soul. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely upgrade some things there. Okay, so polymers, uh, we're low on. We're going to need to get a polymer factory going. Let's do that now. Um, that's in production. Ooh, you will fit there, won't you? Oh, ho, ho. Okay. There we go. I probably should have flipped that on the other side, shouldn't I? I don't like it that close. Stop. Thank you. Oh, build menu. Give me the polymer factory. We're going to turn you around. Put you right there. I like that better. When it needs workers, you're still close to the dome. Oh, there you are, buddy. I'm up here. Thank you. Uh... Ooh, super low on polymers. What is going to need polymers for his electronics? Metals. Machine parts. Oh, good. Actually, none of these need polymers for maintenance. Good. I know we're going to be super low. I'm surprised it hasn't complained at us, actually. Very interesting. Oh, because there's no usage. It's only going to complain when you don't have three souls worth of the supply. Uh-oh. Pickle economics. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Research. Our sponsor informs us that due to changes in the economic conditions, the import price of key resources will soon be increased. Oh, this is actually one of the uh, effects that we have uh, going right now. So one of the game rules. It turns out that even uh, Mars is not beyond the reach of stock market hiccups on the mother planet. The import price for machine parts will increase by 100%. Ooh, and five souls. We better get some machine parts going on on, on planet. Ooh, that's ugly. Understood. Ooh, that, that's painful. A lot too, ooh. Right here, come here buddy, thank you. Wait, do you have a battery you gotta go charge on? No, you don't. Good. Okay. Get that research. Oh, gain 1200 soil adaptation. That Oh, soil adaptation is the farm. Beautiful. Let's go back here and check the research real quick. Boom. 
less fuel. Definitely get that thing going. Uh, ooh. Drones and rovers move quicker. That's going to be very, very good. Water reclamation is going to be big. Our apartments. Man, this is going to come in perfect time. We're going to get the apartments in time for the dome to be built. Get uh, our nice living space for our first colonist. First colonist to get here. That's going to be great. So, how long do we got here? That's just going to put up some more tech. Oh, we're just waiting on concrete. We've got plenty of that being produced, so that is not a concern. More can be put here as we generate it. This guy's doing good as well. Perfect. I'm loving it. Oh, there we go. New tech. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure Automate undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Automated storage? So you know where to look. Oh, I bet you this is part of the new update that the last series didn't have because it was running for so long. Um, oh, I am... S what is... Oh, what is this? A set of storages that can store large amounts of resources. They require power. <laughs> oh, I am liking that. Okay. Okay. I like it. This is going to get good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Um, this... Ooh, three planetary enough. Oh, these are our other, uh, our other guys. Okay. Oh, that's where it's at. Multiple strange signals detected over time can be traced to this area. It's now nicknamed the Zone. Additional inventories and RC transport and expedition. Ooh. I'm not even using the RC transport. Should I send... I don't want to move to that spot, but should I send the expedition? You know what? Let's do it. Oh. Oh, and we have a rocket on uh, on site too. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, it just needs two more fuel and an RC Where's my guy? Right here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, hey, we're going to wrap it up with that. That, ooh, what an episode. We went through our first electrostatic dust storm, and we're going to send our ship over for a little planetary uh, romp and see what we can find in this uh, new location called the Zone. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe in on this video, on any one of the videos, I definitely love to get your feedback there and let me know what uh, kind of things you want to see me do as well. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good one.